my name is Ren Flores. I am from the Philippines, um, and I am a geospatial intelligence analyst. So earlier, I shared, um, a, I shared about GeoWrangler, which is a Python library that lets you um, quickly analyze geospatial datasets. But now, I'm going to talk about what these geospatial datasets are. So um, just a quick recap of um, coordinates. So it's the imaginary lines you draw on Earth to tell you specific locations using numbers. Um, these are the lot latitude, longitude systems, and it's what powers geospatial um, technology. So now you have points based on these coordinates. You can actually combine these to draw more complex polygons. So we call these geometries in um, GIS. And using this, you can um, use these different shapes to represent actual objects on the ground. So these points of interest, uh, the dots can represent points of interest, such as locations of schools, hospitals, banks, or um, public offices. The lines can represent many things, like um, roads and routes, or, um, and the polygons can represent um, boundaries, like uh, country boundaries, or even small items like buildings, as you can see here. So yeah, and these, um, when you open this um, in a uh, in Python, you will see this as a table, and they have different of, um, information attached to each um, object you see here. Another format is um, what we call rasters. So these are essentially images. Um, so images are made of, 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 of pixels. Each pixel represents an actual square area on the ground, and the value for these pixels represent a characteristic of this area. So you can use this to represent different things, such as elevation. So high, how high is this area um, from sea level? Or nighttime lights, how bright does this area appear during the night? Or even like um, other climate factors, such as rainfall, temperature, those are the most common forms of rasters. So you can actually combine multiple dat data sets to paint you a vivid picture of an area. So it, one data set tells you one information, combine them, and it gives you um, a complete description of this um, area. Where can you get these data sets? So there is a lot of open data sets available. Um, some, these are some of my um, go-to sources. Um, and from these, um, Facebook Meta's um, Data for Social Good, they actually provide a lot of data sets for um, humanitarian response, such as population demographics, mobility, connectivity, poverty, and social connection. You also have OpenStreetMaps. So this is a very collaborative community that, um, that contributes um, different points of interest, buildings, and roads, so that you can also use those for other civic um, action or sustainability. Now that you have these data sets, what can you actually do with them? How can I combine them? So. It, it's essentially like spatial. Um, it's essentially like joins, but um, minus the join key in your data set. This time, your join key is the location. So imagine if two um, objects overlap, then there is some sort of inheritance there, as you can see here. So um, polygons A and B overlap with these points, and now they will share the same features as those polygons. You can also do this for rasters. So for example, you have a vector or a geometry over um, an image. You can actually group those images to create um, aggregate statistics, such as what is the largest um, number in this area. So let's say um, throughout this like pixels, which part has the highest population? So what can I use to analyze these data sets? You have this um, software called Quantum GIS. So it's a very user-friendly and um, user-friendly tool, and it has a user interface which um, allows you to quickly learn how to do geospatial analytics because you can instantly see what is going on. But since we're at PyCon, of course, there is a um, li Python libraries for this. So the most um, commonly used are GeoPandas and Raster.io. GeoPandas, if you've used Pandas, then you definitely know how to use GeoPandas. So Raster.io, this is um, specifically for the raster datasets or the ones that are Im um, in an image format. And of course, GeoWrangler. 
So what are example use cases to where I can apply this? So it's just combining data sets. What can I do from this? So this is an actual use case we worked on in the Philippines where we actually tracked um, which parts of the Philippines has the most open street map contributions and compare, compared it to poverty incidents. So um, it's the amount of families that live under the poverty line or don't make enough to sustain their daily living. And as you can see here, the dark red and the slightly red areas are the, um, the communities that have um, high poverty incidence and is not um, well mapped in open street maps. Uh, so with our partnership with humanitarian open street maps community, they use this to prioritize areas that they can map so that there is, there is available data for these vulnerable communities. So this is very... Um, this is very useful when it comes to um, this particular area in the Philippines, since this is where a lot of, um, there is, uh, it's very exposed to hazards such as um, storms, um, yeah, essentially a lot of um, climate and natural hazards. So yeah, if you want to learn more, um, feel free to connect with me. I will be here again tomorrow. And if you, have experience or want to learn um, how to do this. Um, I am part of Thinking Machines and we're looking for more people to work with us here. Thank you.